Hey guys, Sugar Ashley here, and I'm here with Weight Watcher Friday, and I have a small haul from Target, and a very, very, very small unboxing, like very tiny. Um, I'll have my owl crate for you guys on uh, tomorrow, because I will be here tomorrow. Um, so let's do the quick unboxing and quick little haul, and then I'll get into Weight Watchers for you guys. Um, I ended up getting this off of. Um, one of my friends that I actually swapped books with, she had this out of the fake crate, I want to think it was, I think it was, or Enchanted Fandom, um, box for last month, um, or I think it was this month, um, and you guys know I love Six of Crows, so I was like, hey, do you have this? She's like, yeah, and she's like, only like three bucks, I'm like, okay. Like I said, you guys know I love Six of Crows, anything. So I picked up this Six of Crows little bracelet. Was it fake, right? Yeah, it was fake, right? It says, trickery is my native tongue. You guys can see it. I can really get this camera to focus. I don't know why. Tap the screen. No, see, it doesn't. Maybe because it's, it's the filter I'm using. I don't know. It's focuses on me, not, not the actual product. Um, but it has the red and the black, and it's stretchy, and it has the um, the crow on it. But yeah, I had to, anything with six crows I have to get. But look at my nails. I love my nails. This is the color that I bought yesterday I showed you guys. I did my nails today, well, last night. I love it. But yeah, anything with six crows I have to get because that is my fandom. Your girl needs to represent it. So thank you for that. And before I get into my video, I just wanted to show you guys this. I didn't actually, you know, I mean, I did haul these the other day, but I did wear these today. These are the, uh, from Tegan Treasures, the, uh, Coral Skull Leggings. I did wear these. These I got in the Extra Plus, I think it was. Um, if you are like me and you have a bigger booty, get the extra plus um do not get the 3x from the 3x i think goes up to size 18 or 22 and they did they're they fit me the unicorn ones but they're very tight like i mean very, like i gotta lose a little bit in my hips to fit to fit into them but these ones are the extra plus and they fit 3 to 5x and they fit awesome i'll go insert a picture over here to show you what i looked like today i had this i had a pink curl like a pink shirt like this and a little black jacket and a little pink bow and i looked really cute I have never gotten so many compliments on my leggings. I mean, I, I kind of get compliments on my leggings sometimes, but never as many as I did today. I got literally six compliments on these leggings today. Uh, it was three in Weight Watchers, and then one when I was checking out a Target, because um, they gave you business cards, like, just, I would assume to pass out. I passed out all the business cards today. <laughs> so I, I need to, love, like, rep for this company, because I'm giving them so much business, I swear. Um, so I was, ca ca I can't talk, I was cashing out of Target and, um, the, the lady was like, I love your leggings. I was like, oh, thank you. I was like, I got them at Tegan Treasures. It was like a, a live Facebook group. So I sent her the, so I gave her the card. I was like, they're six bucks. Awesome. Explain the fit. Da, da, da. She go, oh, I'll have to uh, check it out. So I gave her the card. Then I go to the bus terminal and I take off my headphones for like two seconds. And the girl that's next to me is like, I love your leggings. Where did you where did you get them? So I gave her the card and then the the bus lady that's like behind like the like glass, um, she's like, I love your leggings, where did you get them? And I was like, so the lady goes and hands her the card that I just handed her. And I was like, Tegan's Treasures is a thing on Facebook. Um, they're really soft. And I, I was like, Do you wanna feel them? Which felt kinda of weird, but I was like, Hey, you wanna feel them? So so she like felt my leg, she's like, Oh my god, they're so soft because they are really buttery soft. Um, and I was like, I told her the, the, the fit and how they fit and everything. And I was like, they're really amazing. I was like, they sh literally ship so quickly. Um, I believe I watched the show on Tuesday and they were here on Wednesday or Thursday. So they ship really quick. Um, I think they were here Thursday. So they, yeah, they, they ship really quick. Um, I, and I said they were six bucks, normally 13. Um, they have great patterns and stuff. Cause again, you don't see plus size leggings like this. And cute patterns you find them in like black so 
um and she's like you look so cute she's like you go girl i'm like oh thank you uh so yeah definitely check out tegan's treasures because you'll get a lot of compliments like i did today my goodness so on to the haul i went to target um because again i always go into target when i'm at weight watchers but i went specifically to target because all of their men's shirts were eight dollars they're originally $12.99 um, and there was a lot of shirts I wanted there but I refrained and I just got this one Harry Potter shirt. If they would have had more Harry Potter shirts I would have got more Harry Potter shirts but they didn't. They only had one and I got Gryffindor Quidditch. Again they don't really ever have any Hufflepuff merchandise and I don't understand why. I really don't get it. I feel very discriminated against for being a Hufflepuff, and that's not okay. So I got that. If they're still on sale, I might go back and get my friend Lori one, and I might go back and get an Aladdin shirt. The heck, it was really cute. Um, then from there, I went to the sock section, because I, like I said, your girl loves their socks to pieces. Um, and my mom was with me, so I picked her up a pair of socks, because again, you can never have enough socks, and socks are so cute. And these were 75 cents. So I got two pairs of socks and it says slow your roll. And it has a scooter on it. Like how cute is that? Hold on, can you see it? Hold on. There's the little scooter. It says slow your roll. And it's like glittery and yellow. So kind of like Hufflepuff colors, really cute. So I got my mom a pair and me a pair. Um, then I got my mom um a notebook because she's wanted like a regular like it was a composition notebook so i got her a notebook to write like her bills and stuff down and it was like 50 cents um and then i don't have the other one to show you because it's on my hubby's phone but he has been wanting a pop socket um for his for our our new phones because he loves pop sockets and they're pretty expensive so i looked i'm like you know what they were like 10 bucks where I saw them. Like, I'm going to go down and look at the, like, the clearance end caps. Because if you're in Target and you don't know, you can find really good deals if you look at the clearance end caps, especially in electronics. So I went down to look at the clearance end caps and I found two. The only, the only pop sockets they had were Pokemon. But they were literally $4.44. And these, I believe, go for... What are these? Yeah, $15 for these. And I'm sure at, like, GameStop, they're probably even $20 at GameStop. I have a Bulbasaur. Yeah, he has Bulbasaur and I have Squirtle. And they were literally $4.48. And this is the only two Pokemon that they had. But there's nothing wrong with them. They're not chipped. They're not broken. I still have mine in the packaging because I don't know which phone I'm going to put it on right now. But, which phone case. But, literally, $4.48. So, definitely, like I said, check out the end caps of your electronic section. You will find great deals i'm telling you i found books there one time they had a xbox one um i don't know exactly how much the headset was like retail price but it was twenty dollars i think it, what how much would it retail for do you know i think that's like, like a hundred and it was retailed for twenty dollars so like definitely check out your end caps. I'm telling you guys, you'll you'll find some great deals. So we got two of those, Squirtle and a Bulbasaur. I just don't know which one I'm gonna put on my phone yet. And then um I wanted to find something to put my wax melts in because um I finally did the trick where you put your wax your wax warmer thing in the fridge in the freezer and then the wax melt just slides out. So yeah, that works for me now, um, but then I'm left with the extra wax melts. What do I, like, what do I do with this big circle that I chopped up? What do I do with it? Because um, I can't put it back in the container because the little ones are like little squares. Um, so I decided what I'm going to do with this. Was I, I was looking for like a small container, couldn't find one. Um, I found like a shoebox size for like a dollar. That wasn't working. Um, I found uh, like this like little tin that they had that, that stood up that was like three dollars that was not going to work um and then i figured out i will do this because this can actually sit underneath my bookcase and work and it was cheap i didn't want to spend a lot of money just in case i didn't, didn't like the way it worked it was 79 cents and it's a pink bowl that actually matches my hair bow it was a pink bow 79 cents and what i'm going to do is i'm going to i have wax paper 
So I'm going to individually wrap each wax. Like if I if I used all of the apple, I'm going to break up the apple, put it in the put it in the wax paper and throw it in here. And then I'm going to label like apple or whatever. Um so that way all the wax melts don't mush don't mush together or like mix together and, and like the smells or whatever. So they're going to all be in here and then this is going to be placed underneath my bookcase for 79 cents. And the last thing I got was I saw this on somebody's channel. I forgot where it was. But I'd seen it before when I was with my hubby and uh, Target. And I liked it. But I was like, oh, I don't really need it. I'm not, I'm, I don't go to school. I don't really need it. Um, and then I figured out, you know what? I could actually use it for a makeup bag. It's so super cute. Um, so I went back. To, so I was in Target today. And I was like, well, if I go down the back of school aisle and I see it, I'm going to buy it. I could have waited until the back of school stuff was on clearance. But it might not be there. So I ended up paying $5.99 for this and it is called, it's the Toy Story 4 pencil case and I got Sheriff Woody. Like how cute is that? To have that in your bag as like your makeup bag. I, I don't really call it my makeup bag because I don't carry makeup with me because I just, I, I do my makeup on in the house and then I swap on like lipstick and then I just have chapstick with me. Um, so this is more of like my catch-all bag I guess you could say because I put all of like Band-Aids, um, Excedrin, toothache stuff, uh, I'm trying to think what else, tampons, um, nail glue, tweezers, stuff that I'm actually going to need or if I ever need or if any other female amount needs it, I have it. So this is like my emergency kit, I guess you could say. Um, so I thought it'd be so cute to have it in my bag. And they had this one, they had, um, they didn't have... Jesse, as far as they had this one, they had Buzz, and they had Rex and Bo Peep. Bo Peep I like, she had a little bow, it was cute. Um, they had Rex, but I didn't like Rex, he was like green with like a big bow, I didn't like him. Um, they had Buzz, which he, he was all white, and then his wings came off in the back, which I didn't like that. Um, Buzz actually is my favorite character in Toy Story, but I'm kind of actually leaning more towards Woody now, because I love, um... I love Tom Hanks. He's just so amazing. And the fact that he's he's doing the new um, Mr. Rogers movie is just so sweet. Because I used to call my grandpa Mr. Rogers because he reminds me so much of him. So that movie's going to make me cry a lot. But um, yeah, so I love Sheriff Woody. So I got him. And the back it says, Howdy, partner. It says Woody. And this movie just brings so much nostalgia back to me orange inside really really cute definitely to use this for many things not just pencils like many 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 things so definitely check out your back to school section if you guys want one because it's so cute i'm thinking i might use it for some other things too or I might go back and grab some other ones because it's just so cute it really is belt buckle right there i might, I might actually glue the belt buckle down because it's only like sewed a little bit here so i might glue it down a little bit but yeah, that's everything that I got today when I went out. Like I said, a small haul. And before I go on talking about Weight Watchers, I wanted to show you guys that I did take... Oh, babe, could I have my um, Harry Potter bag? I did take my Harry Potter bag out with me today. And I know I said that it was small, and I didn't know if it was going to be able to hold a lot of stuff. But I want to show you guys that this bag is pretty good um this thing is jam-packed right now um i don't know how well the straps are going to like hold up to the wear and tear because it, it looks like it's starting to pull out so i gotta kind of contact her and find out what's going on um but literally it is pretty good um i was able to carry a full-size book in here which is a lesson in thorns and I was able to carry it. I think that what might be pulling on the actual straps. Um, so I got to message her and find out, but I was able to carry that and everything else. It had no problems. So it's a pretty good bag. Um, let's actually get into Weight Watchers now. So let me put this on. Oh, let me put on pause, but then I actually found my book. Okay, so 
this week was make room for happiness um and that was our little pamphlet i still can't get over how small the pamphlets are it's crazy um and there's a recipe in the back for rad chico goat cheese and fig pizza i never do the recipes so i don't know um, and basically, it's make room for happiness. Choose an activity you enjoy doing alone. Choose an activity you do with, you enjoy doing with uh, with uh, others, and an activity that you find meaningful. Um, and then basically, what we had to do was make a goal uh, we want to set for ourselves for the th for this week, and then next week we're going to go back and talk about it and if we actually did it. So my goal was um, for this week, I want to be more active this week, and I want to be I want to be active three times this week. Um, like per this week, like, so three times, you know, out of the week, I would like to be active. Um, and that could be like bringing my dog outside for like a longer walk, uh, going outside and playing badminton, uh, playing, you know, just dance, um, stuff like that. So that was my goal. Um, so basically she went around and she, cause she always does. And she says, how was your guys' weekend? So I raised my hand first and I was like, I, I ate a lot. And, um, she's like, okay, can anybody relate to that? And I was like, I ate a lot and I was stressed and I'm a stress eater. And she was like, well, okay. And she's like, what can you do when you're stressed? So then she went around and, told, and, 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 and asked everybody. And some guy that was new there said that he does the meditation app. That's on the um, thing, which I, I don't really look through the app, so I guess I could look through it. It's like a meditation thing. Um, and then he said, keep a lot of zero point foods around. Um, another one said to do something else for like five minutes, like read, so like I do read. And then see if the craving goes away. Um, so there's a lot of good things. The lady that always weighs me in, um, I had lost about a pound. So through these two weeks, I lost about one pound. Um, so I am went from 293 to 292. So now that's good. I lost a pound. I haven't gained weight, which is good. Um, but I it should be better. Um, but she said, I know that you're struggling, but don't worry. You're going to be able to, you know, get through this. Um, I just need to find my niche. Um, and basically, I am going to be doing keto mixed with Weight Watchers. When I say that, it's basically I'm going to be doing keto where I don't eat the bread, the pasta, the carbs. I'm going to do Weight Watchers where I eat some of the zero point foods, but again, no like carb, so if that makes sense. Like no bread, no pastas, no chips, things like that. I'm gonna still do Weight Watchers because the meetings help me, they keep me accountable, they make me go out of the house. Um, so I'm still going to do that po component of it, but do a little, a little bit of keto. Not go like full force keto, but do a little bit of keto, if that makes sense. Um, like I just had some strawberries a little, 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 little bit, a little while ago. That was good. Um, I just went to McDonald's with my mom for lunch. Not the greatest thing, but um, I like to treat myself, whatever. And I had um, a little kid's meal thing, so I had that. Um... But yeah, I'm going to just try to do that, be more active, um, and yeah, I have some recipes to make some buffalo chicken, uh, drumsticks and a crock pot, which sound amazing, so I cannot wait to make that with some broccoli, it's gonna be delicious, um, some steak I have, just stuff like that. So we're gonna try that, um, and then my doctor has me going back on metformin, which been following me for a while you know metformin is the drug from hell um it literally upsets your stomach 24 7 and you lose weight because literally you're in the bathroom all the time so that's gonna be a fun really fun experience for me so yeah i can't wait for that um but it's supposed to help with my insulin resistance and pcos so we will see um i am not going to be so focused on I'm doing this to have a baby. I'm doing because that's kind of what makes me stressed out. So I'm going to say I'm doing this to better my health. Um, and yeah, I will be here every Friday with updates for you guys. Um, and I'll be back here Thursday. Thursday, jeez. Back here tomorrow with the Owl Crate unboxing. I'm just, I'm so tired. Sorry, guys. 
and it's very hot here but yeah i'll be back here saturday with the alcohol unboxing for you guys and then that's it for unboxings i believe um oh i did contact amazon they are sending me a, re a replacement out for um cr uh, a curse of dark and lonely so if you have watched all the way to the end of this video then you will get a sneak peek of this because I love my subscribers so much and I've gotten lovely letters and like comments and messages and stuff I want to do a giveaway for the one that was damaged if you guys want that um it's damaged what I mean by damage is, is, is the corner of it is like the corner of this I'll just say this is the book is a little bit ripped right here again you can tape it I mean it's a free book I don't think it's a big deal um if you guys want to win a curse so dark and lonely or want me to have a contest to win a curse so dark and lonely please comment down below and let me know um I think it's a really good giveaway um I hope that you guys would like it um I'll probably do that in a bookmark like I always do um I was thinking maybe give away I wanted to do a book sleeve from the shop I rep from but right now she's down on vacation not her shop is down closed right now because she uh her back she hurt her back um she hurt her back a long time ago like she broke her back and where she works her manager is not like letting up and she really is in a lot of pain so her shop right now is like shut down so I was gonna gift you a book sleeve from her shop but her shop is closed down so what I can possibly do is maybe do the book and maybe a book sleeve that I have here from my collection like a beacon book sleeve or something or I can just give you the book and a bookmark and some extra goodies I have from Alcrate or something we'll see but you guys are following the end of this video just let me know if you guys would like that um, and like I always say, keep covering and shop on and be kind and sweet to each other. Bye guys.